But so now is the time to start working on plowing up the vegetable garden? Yeah, so. yeah. You should be getting your manure on and plowing and you're getting ready. Well, the old time is in that little little garden patch, you know, I always plant the peas on St. Patrick's Day. My wife's got peas in already. So when she was up here, she'd have this little garden below the pump house. That was her garden. And she'd lots of times have a peas in there St. Patrick's Day. What were some of the other old timers seasons of plantings or Well, that's sales? one thing not too many people do now that I know of around here. Joe Allen always did it, and I still do it. And I was told about it by Mr. Rogers down at Tashville Farm years ago. It's when the sun crosses the line. It just happened the other day, right? Mm -hmm. And you rush out and you check the wind and see which way the wind's blowing. When the sun crosses the line, that's supposed to be the prevailing wind for the next six months. And that's supposed to tell you what, whether you're going to have a mild winter or, you know, so forth and so on. Of course, the trouble is, I know and write it down so I forget. I should have checked it last fall. Now, this year... I checked it on the 20th, which is the day, but it wasn't going to cross till around 8 something. Well, in the morning, it was east, and east and southeast, which would mean wet and damp this summer. Then by late in the afternoon, and I suppose it was that way in the evening, you know, just the weatherman said it was going to be cold, so it was northwest. Well, northwest would mean, you know, more or less cool and dry this summer. And I already have been predicting cool and dry with all the rain we've had. I figure we'll probably get our water level up and our water table will be good, but we may not have too many showers this summer. Last summer was one of the best years for hay and pasture we've had in a long time, you know. What about some other things like that? Oh, there's one old one. His, the old timers, you know, didn't feed the cattle the way the people do today. And they'd rough them through the winter. They'd be pretty, pretty rough shape, some of them. And they'd say if the young stock or any of them lived to shit a May turd, They'd make it. In other words, if they made it through like grass turned green in May, they were going to live another season, you know. So we joke about that a lot. And then the other thing, Candlemas Day, February 2nd, half your wood and half your hay. They figure by then you've used half your hay and half your wood. There's a lot of them, but I can't think of them right now. What about animals being able to foretell weather changes? Are there a lot of... Oh, I don't know. They always tell when all the cows are laying down the field, it's going to rain. You know, that's an old wives thing. You know, I've had people come here that hardly know a cow, and they'd say, oh, it's going to rain, the cows are all laying down. <laughs> Is there any validity in that? I one? don't know. I don't know. Anymore, you turn the backs of the leaves, you know, the, the, it's going to rain. Well, when the wind blows, the leaves, you see the backs of the leaves anyway, don't you? Huh? Yeah. So that doesn't amount to anything. But a lot of the old say now another and we were discussing this this morning because it was evidently colder last night than I thought. And I've always remembered Father Hancock. You know Hancock's hardware. Well, old Grandpa Hancock. Harris Hancock. No, his father, Herbert. And Herbert used to say that you could plaster in a building after March 15th and up till November 15th, and then it would not freeze. In other words, it wasn't supposed to freeze inside a building on Martha's Vineyard, even though it wasn't heated. It wasn't supposed to freeze in there from March 15th to uh, November 15th. But I think he was kind of stretching it on the March 15th. I've seen years here where March 15th been kind of cold. So I don't know. Well, that, I don't know how true that saying is either anymore.